Back to Morning Dose, everyone. Our next guests are authors who don't hesitate to help couples, singles, and entrepreneurs enhance their relationships. So here with us are marriage lifestyle experts, husband and wife power couple, Rufus and Jenny Triplett. Thank you guys so much Ooh, for being here. Well, I said power. Hi. Yes. Hi. Yes, thanks for so, showing us so much love in Houston. Oh, uh, we got to. That's how <laughs> we do right here on Morning Dose. <laughs> oh, hey, the Morning Dose is it. Y'all, y'all tight. Well, speaking of showing love, we have to thank you all for your support. You guys are, have both military backgrounds, right? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, yes. you were in the Marines? Oh, I had to go with Devil Dolls. Okay, and the Navy, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Well, on this Labor Day, we thank you all for your service. Appreciate well, thank that. You. And you're still helping so many people. You guys are here in Houston doing a workshop this week, and how did it go? Oh, awesome. my it was goodness. It beyond belief. We had over 700 people Off the standing chain. room only. Wow. People were sitting on the floor. I was they surprised sat, all them young people coming out. Yeah, okay. they sat on the floor for over an hour, and it was intergenerational. We uh -huh. had kids. We had the grandparents. Mm -hmm. You know, it was all ethnicities, backgrounds, and everything. That's, it was amazing. I think it's because you have such a powerful and podcast that you guys do called Surviving Marriage. You also have a book called Surviving Marriage in the 21st Century. What are some of the main issues you hear people talk about with surviving their relationship? Well, Shannon, how much time we got? Oh, we got four minutes. <laughs> hey, girl, we ain't got that much time. And go. We yeah, yeah. well, need the quick in, version. In the right. 20, in 21st century, uh -huh. a lot of what we hear are social media issues. Social mm -hmm. media. We hear uh, money is a problem. Mm -hmm. um, domination, like mm -hmm. male uh, masculinity, mm -hmm. the the toxic maleness and wanting to have control and then of course the independent woman you know the mm -hmm. feminism movement and different things like that so it all plays a part well rufus since you guys are ebony magazines couple of the year have been in the past what advice do you give to people what's some of the top advice you give when you're facing these issues oh uh, quit trying to change people mm -hmm. people try to change people too much in these relationships and it don't work take it from me i tried uh oh, <laughs> and was to, denied. Yeah. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> you need well. to reconnect with your spouse. Reconnect okay. daily. There's so much going on. Mm -hmm. You know, we're all getting these these breaking news breaks, mm -hmm. uh, tragedies, mass shootings. So yeah. much going on at work. People losing their jobs. Uh, different things like that, the economy, there's so much going on. Make mm -hmm. sure that you make your spouse a priority daily and reconnect, and not just texting, love you, mm -hmm. those oh. are nice and everything, mm -hmm. but make sure, how was your day? That goes a long way. You know, how, how are we doing today? You know, different things like that. Make sure you reconnect. Okay, and what about when you disagree on certain things, you just bump heads? What you do you leave do? it alone. You walk away. You have but to how can you walk away when, you know, so many people are like, you know what, I got to resolve this. I got to get to the bottom of partner, this. And, partner, partner, okay. it don't work. It don't work. You yes. got to walk away. And I learned from the older folks, because uh -huh. I used to be one of them people, we got to resolve this right now. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. Okay. You have, to, you have to agree to disagree. Okay. You know, and, and you can discuss things civilly, mm -hmm. but then you have to agree to disagree and okay. walk away. So I understand the walk away, especially because some people need to calm down and cool yes. off first. Yes. But do you ever come back to it and try to address it? Or? Well, you know, if, if you can't have civil conversations with your mate, right. who are you going to have a civil conversation with? That's so, true. Yeah. Well, you, it's got to be resolved, so you got to come back to it. But it, ain't, it might not happen when the, the person who wanted the, the most, you, you want to help and get rid of it. It might not happen when you want to. Mm -hmm. It might happen when that person who want to take their time and, and marinate on it for uh -huh. a minute, and uh -huh. you gotta wait, gotta wait it out. And I know you guys always a lot of times like to say, create great memories. Yes. Okay. Right. That is a big one. That hey, is a big one. I learned the hard way. I'm trying to give it to y'all now so y'all can learn the easy way. Do more good stuff with your spouse. Do mm. you have to have so many memories that that one memory that they're gonna remember all the time is gonna keep coming back to you saying. Uh, do you remember that time you did something? Mm -hmm. Well, have about 30 good memories that they can go back to, and it won't stay on that one memory. Yeah, Trust you, me, have it to, works. you have to um, just like take vacations, mm. make date nights. I like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. different things that you have to do to make sure. Oh, yeah, sure yeah. That you that got to give them an example, huh? I feel right. you. Yeah, I feel like Rufus says all good. his advice is going to be like, don't do what I did. I learned the hard way. Hey, <laughs> hey, I'm hey. And the, another thing, you know, we take uh -huh. advice from people who ain't been married over 20 years. Uh -huh. The best advice I ever got and still get to this day is over the 20 years, 20, 30, 40 years, which is why we call it the book uh, Surviving Marriage in the 21st Century, but we're trying to get you to 20 years and beyond. Well, you know, I mm. think he learned something in our 30 years of marriage, so. Mm -hmm. I sure right. did. Gotta teach him. So real quick. <laughs> trying to keep it there. Real quick, an obstacle that you all face in your marriage that you were able to overcome. Think, well, a few years ago, um, 
you know, we, we lost our oldest son. Oh, yeah, that's good. Our oldest son, you know, he transitioned. He passed away very suddenly, very unexpectedly. Yeah. Sorry, and, yeah. you know, some people, they lose their marriage, yeah. you know, over yeah. the death of a child. But actually, it, it made us grow stronger. Wow, how? You know? Fate. Mm -hmm. um, again, one of the, the first tips in the book is put God first. I don't care what religion you are, mm -hmm. whatever you, your belief system is, put God first. Mm. You put God first and, and, and your faith will bring you through anything. Mm. But again, one of the things we talk about now because of uh, people and going through losses mm -hmm. is because it has been tearing people apart yeah. versus bringing them together. Yeah. Got to have that faith. Right. Well, and I when think you that's a great place to end on because you guys, I mean, we can go on and on because yeah. you guys have great information. <laughs> but put God first. I love that. And for more information, of course, you can go to RufusAndJennyTriplett.com for more information on their podcast, their book, and all of this great advice. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. And one of the ladies I look up to when it comes to marriage, Miss Maria, she always has great advice as well.